What's up guys, Intonic here, and today we have a brand new update on Splatoon 2. And we actually have two new things, and apparently they were major, as uh, said by Nintendo. But um, one of them they actually didn't really announce, but the other one they're like, there's major news. Um, so the first one is I'm going to show you guys how to get uh, the Splatoon 2 World Championship t-shirt. So you go to the news icon and you scroll down to this one right here. Get ready for the Splatoon 2 World Championship with the stylish in-game shirt. So you click it and you scroll down and you click suit up. And uh, by doing that, it'll boot up, I think, Splatoon 2 if I'm correct. And you get your own little uh, Splatoon 2 World Championship uh, t-shirt, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know what the main uh, power up for it will be and how many slots it has but we're about to find out and uh, the other major news that uh, they said was gonna come today is not as hyped up as they said it was um, I forget when but Nintendo said that uh, they were gonna show something big off uh, June 8th and that's today and it's not really anything big. I don't know if I'm just early to the party. And maybe there's something at 10 o'clock when the updates usually happen. But for right now, it's only just gear. So it's a little bit weird. They were really like, there's something big happening. But it's really just this one new gear, but with like some logo. And I think it's a new company that made the uh, gear. I'm guessing is what the Auckland gear is going to be made of. So uh, just like how we in the Octo expansion, um, when you bought the DLC early, you get like a little package right here, which is pretty cool. And if you open it up, there we go. We got a um, Splatoon 2 World Championship logo tee with a uh, swim speed up and three stocks. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, now I don't really know how to get the other one. Maybe we talk to Judd, because there's an explanation mark above him. Okay, no, it's not. That's just for leveling up. Um, maybe it's in clothes. I don't really know how to get the other one, but um, I saw that you can get the World Championship T-shirt um, by going to the news outfit right there. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything new here so I don't know if they added it but I remember seeing uh, it on Twitter and stuff it was basically like a suit with a little pin on it showing this new logo and um, I'm guessing a new company is making gear now for Splatoon 2 uh, I don't know what it's called but yeah uh, anyway I guess I'll go show off a couple weapons too um, cause there's probably not going to be a new weapon today because of, uh, what's it called? Um, cause last week we got a major update having four new weapons, which were the Sorel Umbrella, or no, the Undercover Sorel Umbrella, the, uh, what else? We had the custom, uh, Dually Sculpture, which I have been, actually have been using for quite a bit. Um, what else? I don't think they're this far back, but maybe they are. Yeah, I don't think they are that far back. Uh, oh yeah, the Deco version of the Carbon Roller. Yeah, there we go. And I think it's this one, Rapid Blaster Pro Deco. So, um, I don't really know which one to show off. I guess I'll show off a little bit more of the carbon roller because this has a new spe uh, special that no other weapon has and I don't think any other weapon will have the uh, auto bomb launcher we're gonna go into some regular battle so I don't really want to mess up my uh, splat zone status so I like going with the uh, jet sculpture for that but yeah so I'll show off a little bit more footage of this and probably in the episode 
So yeah, I mean that's the major news that they announced. Like if you want to check it out yourself, sadly I can't show it off to you, I guess. But um you can check it out on Twitter and stuff. There's like images of the squids uh with their uh outfits on or with that specific outfit on. So I'll do a couple matches here. See, a lot of people are, are like afraid of the uh, carbon roller deco because you can just burst bomb someone and then just hit them with the carbon roller, and it's basically an automatic death. All right, yeah, I saw that sniper from like a mile away. I don't know why my teammates didn't get him because he's kind of on our side right now, but he was just chasing after me. Yeah, I kind of like this weapon. It's pretty fun to use. Not really good with it, but just fun to whack people with uh, the roller. Cause you can just kind of just go like that and pretty much um, if you're close to someone, you're pretty much gonna kill them. Like it's like the it's like a really good weapon for just like close range and stuff. Alright, but not that close, I guess. Or not that far. Just a little bit. He had a little bit more range than me. Looks like the carbon roller has pretty bad range, but it has really good uh, mobility and um, uh, not really damage, but fire rate, I guess. The snipers are trying really hard. <laughs> Uh, luckily, I didn't run out of ink uh, at the moment that I wanted to not run out of ink. Okay. Dang it. Alright, he got me. How many shots was that? <laughs> that was like six shots he tried to kill me, but got me on the seventh shot, maybe. By the way, my team sucks, like usual. Uh, nothing different there. What, what am I doing? I should be showing off the new gear that was even though not announced or not the big hype but I should be showing off the new gear that we just got I'm kind of an idiot for not doing that alright nice that was a good distraction there because I think the sniper died yep there we go alright this is perfect for my auto bomb. there we go not really I guess did I kill anyone? nope okay I guess that's not a good time for the auto bomb. probably using my roller instead of just using burst bombs or whatever. Oh come on. That's stupid. I don't know I get he I don't think he killed me. I think someone definitely assisted him in killing me. Cause I don't think the stingray just with that amount of time. And I thought the bombs that were shot were shooting out were uh the other teams, but it actually wasn't. I didn't do that bad, I guess. Alright, so I'm gonna go change my shirt to show everyone that I'm in the Splatoon 2 World Championship. I actually tried out for that, if you guys didn't know. Um, I was in the Open Invitational, but we lost in the first round. But the, per the people that we were going against were really good like they went up to I think round six I'm pretty sure and yeah I think they only lost to the people that actually qualified for the um for the US Open or the US uh, finals or whatever that was a uh, live streamed on Nintendo Alright, so I'll do a couple more matches and then end the gameplay there. Yeah, this actually this t shirt's not looking that bad. 
I kind of like it. It doesn't really go with my my style. You know, gotta stay fresh. But it's not a bad weapon, or not bad <laughs> shirt. What I'm saying. Um, I kind of like the style that I'm kind of going with because I usually go with the dually squelchers, and um, usually when I go with the dually squelchers, um, kind of matches my outfit because I got the red headphones and I got the red uh, shirt, and then you got the red dually squelchers. Um, although I don't really have matching shoes, I guess. But it's still fine. This sniper is actually really bad. Because I think it's the same sniper that... I went up against before. Like in the last match. <laughs> Got him again. Umbrella guy's pretty bad too. <laughs> but yeah, the sniper is so bad. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Look at him. And yeah, he has a hero roll uh the hero shot replica or whatever. Uh the hero charger replica. So he's been practicing with the uh he dies again. Uh he's been practicing with those uh with the, uh, what's it called? The charger, quite a bit in single player. But it seems like it didn't really pay off because he's really bad. Ah, he got me. I'm surprised that he didn't, uh, die from my auto bombs at least. But yeah, the ink brush, octobrush guy. I feel like they're okay, but other than that, the rest of the gang, sniper and the brella are pretty bad, but the brushes are okay. Mainly the the ink brush, the octo brush. I don't really know. <laughs> I killed him again. Oh, he's just like, I got him, Sam. I got him. Nope. Just kill him right there on the spot. I'm not really using my burst bombs, but then again, I don't really use my uh, subs that much anyway. I usually forget, or it's usually because they waste too much ink, but since I have burst bombs, they don't waste that much ink. And it's a really good combo if you can pull it off or remember to use your, uh, your sub. I guess it's just a habit of mine that I usually don't use my sub. I usually only use my sub when I'm like recovering ink. Like most of the time in ranked I'll be recovering ink and then I throw a bomb. And then I go back in the ink, throw another bomb, cover in the ink, throw another bomb. Basically that's the routine that I usually do in a uh, ranked battle. Mainly I forget to use it. Um, I do use it though, however, like, before I use my special, or after I use my special, because, uh, before you use your special, um, or when you use your special, you recover all your ink, so, using a special before is always good if you have enough ink, and then of course after, because, um, especially for, like, stuff like, uh, like the inkjet, like if you have, uh, the octo brush. Like I like to use the auto bomb right after because you don't know who's camping around trying to take your kill. And at least if you put an auto bomb down, someone like camps your uh, inkjet uh, start, you can always just uh, have an auto bomb chasing after them at the least. So it's always good. I also use it uh, when I super jump too. It's like when I super jump, I don't know if who's attacking or who's not. Wow. So Relbella actually got me that time. What's the score against him? One to... Five, I think? Six? 
Actually, it's probably five. I killed him at least five times. Alright, so yeah, I think that's the hero brush from last time also. But, like I said, he was... Okay. Is the sniper still here? No, okay, we have a different sniper, though. He's using a... E leader. Did I die from the inks? My oh wow, I did. That's really surprising. I don't think I think that's actually the first time I died from an ink mine. Like no joke. Like usually I either die from uh I usually die from like the person and the ink mine might assist. I don't think I ever died from the ink mine itself. By the way, if you hear like buzzing noise or whatever, it's because of my audio mixer. I have to get like a new battery for it. Cause like my my first uh, mixer, my first audio mixer, it just doesn't work for the switch anymore. I don't know why, but it uh, really just doesn't. So I have to use my uh, other one, but that one doesn't have a plug for it. So I have to use the uh, a battery for it instead. And mine is on low battery, so maybe the game audio isn't as loud as it should be. Alright, I'm trying to get my special again if I can. Sadly, all my teammates are dead, though. Ah, got me. Oh, wow, we're in danger. This is not good. Wow, okay, they attacked our base. I didn't even know. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> they got us good. I thought we were, like, doing good because we were kind of just killing their base like their entrance way we were protecting basically and we were kind of just stalling but I guess one of them got to our base but um anyway that was the uh <laughs> that's how to get the Splatoon 2 world championship uh t-shirt um I don't know how to get the other suit that I saw on twitter and stuff but um, if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I saw it had like some type of goggles on it. Maybe it's just a shirt. That's uh, the thing. But yeah, it was like a nice dress dress shirt, like a uh, a nice uh, tux, I guess, with um, a little pin that had like this uh, kind of. It looks like a squid logo, but it has like little like eye, I guess. That's like creeping in, but it's like half an eye, just like squinted, I guess. Um, it's kind of hard to, sh to like describe, but it's a pretty cool design. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the big news for Splatoon 2 for today. But anyway, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Splatoon 2 updates right here on Tell Nick. Bye.